Alright guys, what is up? Welcome to Oliver Games D. I am Alan and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and download the Feed the Beast launcher into your Mac. So basically once you install this, you can play Feed the Beast Monster, Feed the Beast Unleash, all them great Feed the Beast mod packs. So yeah, first I'm going to get on my computer. As you can see, I'm on my computer now. And yeah, it's very, very... um lame you know I don't have anything cool out here except I did have like a, f a lot of stuff here and it was like I put everything in here so yeah don't don't look at that <laughs> anyways let me show you what you have to do first you open up your um, internet browser and you have to go to the feed the beast um, website which I just put FTB and once you do that you should find the home feed the beast Minecraft mod packs and stuff, feedthebeast.com and stuff. So you go into their website and now you're here. Once you're here, you scroll down and you go to client download, which is the launcher. And don't get exe, exe is for Windows. You're just going to get like an error and stuff. So get the jar and click on it. So once you do that, down below, if you have Google Chrome, it's going to tell you this type of file might harm your computer and all that stuff. It's not going to harm a computer, I promise, so you put keep, and it's going to download. So, once it's downloading, you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and it's done. And now, from here, you just take it out to your desktop, and now you're done with that. Now you have this, and now you open a new folder, so open it up, and call this folder... It feed the beast or whatever you want to call it it really doesn't matter to like I'm just going to call it FTB L launcher whatever so once you do that this right here your jar you click enter and you delete everything not everything but you delete everything from the here done and now it should only be feed the beast underscore launcher dot jar and you put it in the feed the beast folder that you have and now you double click on it you put open and it's gonna load and there so now on now you it's open and it's actually gonna take a little bit longer just because it is and so here it is so now you have the launcher here it is and don't don't exit out of any of this stuff you can take out this but nothing else terminal and all that stuff whatever opens up do not exit out of it so from here you have to log in into your account and you can pick on any map and you can launch into it but it will take time to download so I'm gonna go on monster and I'm gonna launch it so it's gonna download it as you can see it's gonna it is gonna take time to download so let me explain some things it's gonna take a lot of time and it's gonna be really really frustrating but it's not it's just because it's downloading everything especially when you have the the monster feed the beasts pack that I'm about to show you it's like it has like 180 something mods 100 plus 180 plus mods and basically it has to download all that kind of stuff but it's at the end of the day it's very cool and the best thing so to prove to you that I'm not lying all that stuff that people do think I don't know how um well, I'm gonna show you and another thing if you have any questions please ask me down below in the comment section down below I will try to answer them as quick as possible so yeah this thing is gonna take time I'm not sure how much time it looks like it's already half not really already a quarter way but I'm just gonna skip this whole part and I'm just gonna fast speed through it and then I'll show you so yeah we'll be back alright guys so now it is done and um once it's done it's gonna be done and stuff so it's gonna be up here right here everything all in the um, the console of the feed the beast launcher it's going to do another thing. It's going to download some more things. But once that is done.
All right, guys. So now that is done. Thank, thank you, Lord. And now, and some other things are gonna happen. As you can see, the console now it's doing a whole bunch of crap. And now the Mojang thing is out, and the everything is here. Now this is gonna be. This is usually what happens when you start the game. Now all the loading that just happened will not happen again, ever again. Now this will happen always. So yeah, it's gonna take some time for the game to load every time you try to start it up. So as long as this console is going and moving and all that stuff we do not understand is going, it means it is working, guys. So yeah, that's good. So all the mods are installing. Well, they're installing, but they're not really installing. I don't know how to explain this, but it's gonna have to do it every time. So yeah. But it is loading. Stuff are moving, and it's great. Now we just have to wait um, a little bit more for this and all this crap to go. But it should be should be done pretty soon. But yeah, I know it's it's really frustrating when you, once you start out. But at the end of the day, it's awesome. So yeah, all this stuff is loading. There's a whole bunch of mods. That's probably why. That's pro it's probably just for the monster one, for because they have so much mods. It's doing this, and it takes so much time. Maybe on the other ones, they might be a little bit slower. I'm not sure. I haven't tested them out. I'm just testing this one out in the moment. But I'm not sure. It probably is, but I'm not sure. Like I said. But it's moving and it's moving and it's doing all this stuff. It should be done. The Minecraft game is still here, same place. Everything is good. There's no errors or nothing. It might, it might in the console say errors and stuff. I mean, it might not say error, but it might say some other stuff like this: severe, severe, severe crap. But I guess that just means we're almost there. Or I'm not sure. I'm not a, a coding and console and stuff and terminal guy, so I'm not sure. All I can tell you is wait and let it load, and you'll be al you're you're almost there when it starts turning red. So there and now, as you can see, the game is open. Yes. So now we're gonna go to single player, and we can actually play. And let's create a new world. And yeah, let's just test it out. Create a new world. And another thing too, guys. It does take a long time to create a new world too, so yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that too. Yeah, you have to you have to notice that there's a lot of mods and stuff that have to install still in the game, and you can see in the background again, stuff are are um doing in the console. It's always moving the console thing, so you don't have to exit out of there, and we're almost there, I guess. I hope. Are we there yet? We're almost there, guys. I'm feeling it. Wait a minute. So once it does that, I think it is done. I guess it's gonna look like it's going back to the menu. I don't think it is there. And look at all the mods. Wow. So now you can move, guys, and stuff, and all these things should come out. And you're in the game. You have perfectly installed. Congratulations! You have installed Feed the Beast Monster on your Mac, which is awesome. Here's me. Where's me? Look at me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here, guys. I'm here. Yeah, guys. Hope this video was helpful and it helped you out, guys. If you have any questions, like I said, please leave comments down below. Um, for me, this was a very long tutorial, even though I had to wait and wait and wait. For you, it probably was pretty fast, the people who watched it, so thank you. I hope you did enjoy. Um, so, hit that thumbs up if you liked it, and comment down below any questions and problems or errors you have. Please have patience, and I will try to come back, come back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, guys, as always, and hope it was helpful. And share this video if you need other people to, that want to do this. It will help me out. And thank you for watching, guys. As always, and peace out.